it's Tony from Cassette Comeback. So, looking at the stats of some of the videos, I've decided that sometimes it's not always best to group a load of cassettes together and do a 35-40 minute video because people lose interest. So I'm going to start doing more shorter videos now just on single cassettes so that they're more bite-sized, we can get more of them out and hopefully people will watch all the way to the end. So, what are we looking at in today's video? Well, we're looking at some cassettes from this well-known, tip-of-the-tongue, household name, cassette and brand. Berek. Mmm. Berek. These are super C90s. And look, look, look at that. £3.50 plus VAT. So these were about, 30, about 40 pence each. So... What do we know about these cassettes? Let's see what it says on the back. Berwick cassettes. Berwick unrecorded cassettes are made in England to high consistent quality standards. Made in England. Ooh. They are designed to me to exceed the exacting IEC 94A specifications in all performance areas with special attention given to ensure smooth and trouble-free mechanical operation without the use of non-standard internal guidance systems. Is somebody having a go at uh, BASF and the SM mechanism there? There are two ranges, standard and super, and each is available in C16, C90 lengths. So the standards, I must have used this for uh, both boxes, a high output low noise cassette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the super, which we can't read. Mm, let's have a look. Let's peel back the gold. Oh, look at that. The gold just comes up. Super, a super ferric tape providing an increased in audio performance, yet remaining fully compatible with all types of cassette recorders, combining extended frequency response with excellent no low noise characteristics. So, having a go at BASF and seeing these are super ferric, that's pretty plucky for a brand that you've never heard of. These obviously look 1970s, and uh, on the face of it, I imagine they're a Type 0. Oh, the smell! Oh, the smell just smells like the 70s. It smells like a, a combination of WD-40 and Joss sticks. Right, oh, let's pull one out of the bottom. And it's cracked. That's a good way to start. Let's pick one which isn't cracked. Okay, Beric Super Cassette. That, that, that's just got Type 0 written all over it. Except, you might not recognise what Beric is. But... Having done some research, because I didn't know this, Berwick actually stands for British Ever Ready Electrical Company. So, you know, Ever Ready is in the batteries, which is now Energizer. And Berwick, if you're in Germany, they were the people behind Daimon batteries and cassettes, and in Italy, Super Pila, which I believe in Portuguese means something rude, but... Uh, yeah, it's ever ready energizer. So, hmm, maybe these are type zero. Let's have a look at the back. Made in England to IEC spec 94A. So they're really powering this on. Two times four, five minute type. Use Beric Power Plus batteries. Hmm, bit of advertising on the back there. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if you look, there's no low noise, high output. There's no compact cassette logo. So. Hmm, let's have a look at the tape itself. Okay, so, yeah, this looks like a Type 0, really, doesn't it, from the 70s? But, these screws, but more importantly, this ridge shell, it, it tells me who made these. And who made these? English, this sort of shell. It's EMI, as in EMI, part of the Thorn Group, the people behind many... A major music star, a big record label behind Ferguson Electronics and Thorn Electronics. They were a big electrical company in the UK. So I'm hoping these possibly aren't a Type Zero. But other than that, I mean, yeah, it's the cheapest shell. Obviously, 70s, so the sticker glue is making the label a bit translucent. But seems sturdy enough. Blue leader. Let's let's just have a little wind. Let's have a look at the tape itself. See if it's sandpaper, or see if there's any sort of stuff to it. Let's have a look. Actually, uh, no, it's not sandpaper. It's there is a shininess. It just looks like a seventies ferric. You know, it could be the same sort of thing as a seventies TDK D. Maybe it will perform as good. Who knows? 
but it doesn't look like type 0 sandpaper anyway so we'll give it that but let's have a look at the uh, inside of the J card so then it's an oh well actually at least this is glossy it's not usually sometimes you get this and the J card is all matte on the inside and absorbs ink like blotting paper but it's plain but serviceable and again on the cassette Use Beric Power Plus batteries. <laughs> They're really hammering. I wouldn't. I know this. This had a a retail sticker on it at the top, but I'm wondering if if these were. I don't know if they were sort of intended to be given away with batteries or something. But uh, anyhow, it's a neat little collectible from, like I say, from the uh, British Ever Ready Company. But uh, whether they're any good as a cassette is another thing. So uh, let's fire up a deck. Let's see if we can buy us it. And if we can buy a sit, well, let's see if you can actually record anything. Okay, I'm going to use my CR7 for this, primarily because the more I use this deck, the more, you know, the hypothetical question. You're transported back to your youth, blah, blah, blah. Which one of your decks are you having? It's this one. It's this one because... It's a deck that anybody can make an amazing recording on. It takes zero skill to make a, an amazing recording on this deck. You just open it up, put the cassette in, press auto calibration. Oops. It goes away. It takes the fastest auto cal I've ever seen. And it seems to have the ability to add and remove much more bias than any other deck because... I get some tapes that I put in the ZX9, and the ZX9, you know, it, what a recorder, but it's fussy. It, you know, it can make the most of a cassette, as long as it can make the most of a cassette. But some cassettes it puts in, and you put it in, and it goes, no, no, I'm not touching that, forget it, boy, go and get me a decent cassette. This thing, you can put anything in, and it usually calibrates it, and it sounds amazing. You know, you can imagine the tagline, the CR7. The deck even your grandma can make an amazing recording on. And it's true. So it's biased up this Berek Super EMI. So let's do some recording on it. So I'm going to keep the... Well, let's see if it is a Super Ferric. I'm going to have this peak in about plus three. Let's see how it handles it. And I mean, that would be pretty amazing for a low-rent 70s tape made by EMI. But let's see if they're any good. For the music, I'm going to use an old favourite from the YouTube audio library. This is called... The Emperor's Army. So let's see how this bad boy does.
I do like a nice surprise. That sounded much, much better than I thought it was going to. I thought this was going to be maybe a passable entry level type one, few dropouts, but no, that sounded really good. I mean, for a 70s low end cassette, maybe this does deserve the super moniker. Because the thing is, I can't think of many 70s cassettes that I would class as a super ferric. I'm not saying this is a super ferric in any way, shape or form, like an AR or a HFES or, you know, a UDI or an XLI or anything. But for a 70s style, well, 70s style, a 70s type zero style from a brand that from usually makes batteries that seems to be an EMI cassette, which aren't massively rated. I thought that's a, I thought that was a superb performance. And this is the thing again, I keep saying it. People keep asking me, Oh, what's the best cassettes for me to buy? I want to get some really good cassettes. What's your, forget it, forget it. Spend your money on the deck. The deck makes the biggest difference in the whole equation. A good deck can make a good recording on an average cassette. A poor deck can't make a good recording on a brilliant cassette. It's as simple as that. Invest your money in the decks because you have a good deck. You can make 70s style, no name, entry level cassettes sound good. So there we go, I think I said everything I need to say about this cassette. There is nothing more surprising than a surprise. And this is a proper surprise. So yeah, I bought these thinking that they were just going to be a Type 0 for collectors. Because the strange thing is, well maybe not strange, but Type zeros, especially 70s cassettes are very, very collectible. I got some in my shop called Justine, like this, bing. Uh, you know, they were clear shell, they look kind of funky, but I thought, is anyone going to buy three of these for £10 when they're going to be absolutely unrecordable? And people started pinging me saying, oh, I used to buy these in cooperative stores. They used to open them up and sell them singular. They were terrible. And I thought, oh no, what have I bought here? They, they all sold out within a week. So I bought these on the thought that these are you know, ever ready energizer cassettes. They look very 70s, a bit utilitarian. The collectors are going to like this, but it was a surprise when they turned out to be very good. I mean, this I'll sit my neck out and say, I think that performed as well as a, a mid 70s TDKD. You know, simple as that to my ears. But again, the deck makes a lot of difference. But yeah, and the fact that British Ever Ready, a company that I'm very nostalgic about because Batteries when I was young seemed to always be ever ready batteries because they were British and they were cheaply available. And I even remember the adverts. I saw an advert, one of theirs, ever ready power to the people. And I saw it on one of these old advert breaks I watched. And it's like all of a sudden it unlocked a bit of my head. I remember that advert so vividly. So I'm really pleased with these. So yeah, so there we go. A nice little short video. Hope that was useful. These are in the web store. In fact, if you buy 10, I'll give you one in the original wrapped outer box with the price sticker on, but uh, I've got some in. I don't think I'll have them in very long because cassettes like this, like I say, always, always sell fast. Bizarre, but these ones you can actually use. So thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay safe and happy taping. Bye-bye. This video was made possible thanks to the support of members of Club Cassette Comeback. Club Cassette Comeback allows you to see videos five days before the rest of the public and ad-free. You get your name in the credits and it also allows you into the special sections on the Cassette Comeback websites where new items are posted first as well as there being special discounts. If you'd like to be a member of Club Cassette Comeback, just simply click on the link in the credits. Otherwise, thanks guys and gals, it's all been possible thanks to you.